For this class, we're going to be using Optana as our development environment. Optana is free to use, and that's largely why we've chosen it. I also really like Dreamweaver. I actually like that significantly better, but the price point is really different. To get to Optana, it's just www dot optana a p t a n a dot com and one of the reasons that I've selected this tool is because it works for both the Mac and the PC so I'm going to download the current version and I'm going to just download the standard plugin version and provide my name and email address and then I will wait while it downloads. I'm going to click on it to open it. Drag it into my Applications folder. And I'm going to replace it to get make sure I've got the current version. And then I should be able to go to my applications file. And find it. And I will drag it to my taskbar so that I can work with it. I'm going to pick a new workspace for this. I'm going to go to my documents. And create a new folder. Websites. and choose open. Yep, that's where I want it. Use this as my default and hit OK. And this gets me started in a blank new page. So it has all sorts of interesting reference things that you can read through on here, bug database, issues, things like that. I'm going to go ahead and close this as a start page. I don't really need the console down here, so I'm just going to minimize that for right now. Um, I don't need this point part right here. This is where I'm usually going to be working. So I'm going to create a first project. And I am typically going to start with a web project. And I'm going to hit Next. And I'm going to choose a default web project without a template. That's what I want. And this will be my project for the whole site. It's going to have multiple pages, multiple folders. So I'm just going to call the project name um, Web Fundamentals. And I'm going to hit Finish. Now I can test this and make sure everything's working in here by putting in a new file and choose a new file and just call it test.html <coughs> and I personally hate working on a ba black background so I'm going to use these are different color schemes. I use the Dreamweaver color scheme just because that's what I'm used to using. I usually make a few other options in here. I'm going to go into my preferences. I'm going to change my 
font. And I do this to make it easier for you to read. Okay, and I did that because I really like working without my glasses. So your most <laughs> basic thing that you're going to have in a web page is you're going to create your doc type. This is pretty much what we did online when we created our first page. And then we're going to tell it that it's an HTML page. And you should get in the habit, and it does it for you, of always closing your tags as well. And you can put in a title, which should be in the head section. Mary's test page and then in the body and you're always going to have an opening and closing body tag we can put in different tags this is an H1 tag two this is an H and a H2 tag and P this is a paragraph now even though I've put a bank blank line in here it's not going to show up that way I'm going to take a quick preview and note we want to save this first so we're going to hit the little floppy and we're going to hit preview and you'll see this is an h1 tag this is an h2 tag this is a paragraph so that shows you how to set up and just start typing code in optana in the next video i'm going to show you how to upload this to your website